In session two, I'm going to show you how to edit and improve your podcast by implementing noise reduction techniques using Photoshop style editing tools to eliminate noises that you don't need to be there and also removing clicks, pops, unwanted mouth noises, bits like that and inserting and deleting awkward silences from your podcast. So let's get started with using a gate to remove breaths. This is the first sample I've got to play to you. Have a listen to it. I take rather a lot of breaths. Noise, gates, eliminate, breaths. It's really easy to get rid of those breaths. Simply head over to your effects rack. If you haven't selected it along here, just make sure you have and then go into your first effect. Go into amplitude and compression and go for dynamics processing. Now, the presets you want to look at are noise gate at 10 dB and noise gate at 20 dB. 10 dB is a little more aggressive than 20 dB. I usually tend to stick at 20 dB unless you're really aggressively reducing lots of noise. Now, once you've selected a noise gate, this is going to cut out any audio that falls below a certain amount of decibels, so great for eliminating background noise or breaths. Take a listen now. Noise. Gates. Eliminate. Breaths. And you can tweak it a little bit to make it more or less aggressive. Noise. Gates. Eliminate. Breaths. So you can still hear the breaths when I move it over there. If I move it further to the right, though. Noise. Gates. Eliminate. Breaths. That's probably the right setting to get rid of those breaths. Now, say you're recording in a really noisy location or that computer fan just won't stop whirring. How do you eliminate noise that's in your recording? Take a listen to this. You'll notice some background hum. Sometimes when we're recording a podcast, conditions aren't perfect. You get background hiss or hum. Now I'm going to show you how to use noise reduction in Adobe Audition to get rid of as much of that noise as you possibly can. Let's take a listen to the noise on its own. I'm going to select it and hit this icon here to loop play back that noise. It's very noisy. Now, in order to capture the noise print, I can either right click here and hit capture noise print, or I can hit shift and P. This captures a print of exactly how the background noise looks. And it's going to help now when I start to apply the noise reduction technique. So I'm going to select the whole audio, go into effects, noise reduction slash restoration, noise reduction process, and I'm going to play back the audio with noise reduction on and slowly reduce the noise reduction effectiveness so you can hear it with and without the noise. Have a listen. Sometimes when we're recording a podcast, conditions aren't perfect. You get background hiss or hum, so you can hear that it dramatically reduces that background noise as I apply the effect. There we go, I'm applying that noise reduction. And you can see how effective it is when you look in between where there is silence, most of the noise has gone. Listen to the end of this now. Or somebody decides to whistle a tune while you're talking. Did you hear the whistle while I was talking? That's a pretty random noise and you probably want to eliminate that. Well, I'm going to show you how to get rid of random noises now using Photoshop style tools in Adobe Audition. This is where I open up the spectral frequency display or click this button here or hit Shift and D, of course, to access it like I mentioned earlier on in session one. To zoom in, I'm going to scroll on my magic mouse to get closer. And as you can see quite clearly here on the spectral frequency display, there is an area here of yellow. And when you see something in yellow, it means the noise is very loud. As it decays down to red and then purple and then black, the noises in those frequencies are quieter. So if I want to get rid of that whistling noise, what I would use is this tool here, the Spot Healing Brush tool. If you're a Photoshop expert, I'm sure you'll have seen this working in Photoshop. It's the same for audio. You can visually see where the noise is and eliminate it. Now, if it's a noise that occurs while you're speaking, you don't want to eliminate too much of your voice, otherwise you're not gonna hear anything you're saying. So that's why the Spot Healing tool works really well. And I'll show you how it works. I can just cover up this yellow noise here and it will pretty much delete the whistle. But I'm going to reduce the size of my paintbrush. So I'm gonna take it down to 20 pixels and I'm gonna paint over that yellow noise there. And it will take what it can see around that yellow frequency and color over it. And you see there, there is still noise there so it hasn't pulled everything away, but it has pretty much eliminated that whistle. Let's have a listen now. Or somebody decides to whistle a tune while you're talking. There you go, no sign of the whistle. Uh, again, there are different tools that you can use for different purposes. If I zoom in and then Control Z to undo, you'll see the whistle appears back there again. I could also use this one, the paintbrush selection tool, but this is a little harsher. This is like the eraser tool in Adobe Photoshop. So I can just paint over it like that and completely delete that noise by hitting delete. And you see there's now a black section where it's pretty much deleted that section of audio. Tune while you're talking. And again, it's noticeable that I've made a change. Tune while you're while you're 
And there's also the lasso tool, which again, if I undo, I can lasso around that noise and then just delete it. But again, it's taking out a great hold from my audio. And the final one is the marquee selection tool, which is like a, a square selection. So you can select different frequencies in your voice, like all of the high end, or you can select the mid range frequencies. Or you can select the bass. The tune one. And it's great if you want to just zoom right in and maybe marquee select around that whistle so you can just hear the whistle itself on its own. And there's the whistle. Now I'll close that spectral frequency display so we get back to just the waveform view. And I'm going to head over to these samples over here. Now in this first sample, I made a bit of a clicking noise with my mouth as I was speaking. Had too much soda, I think. After drinking loads of soda. After drinking. Did you hear it? It's right about here. Drink, 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 drink. That mouth slap, I'm going to zoom in so you can pretty much see it now. It's starting to appear here. Let's have a listen. Ring, 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 ring. And there it is. Let's loop it and listen to that. That's rather high pitched, isn't it? Now I'm going to zoom in. Now you don't want to just delete a mouth noise like that willy nilly, because if I do that, the wave is going to sound all wobbly now when I start speaking back. It's not going to sound natural. Have a listen. After drinking loads of. You can sort of hear the edit there, can't you? So Command Z will put that noise back in, and I'm going to zoom in. Now you see how your voice appears when you're speaking. There are peaks and troughs, and then peaks and then troughs, and then peaks and troughs, and peaks and troughs, and peaks and troughs. So if you want to get a natural sound, you need to edit two peaks or two troughs together. So you see here's a peak, and here's a peak. If I edit from there to here, you won't even notice that I've deleted that mouth click. I'm going to zoom out and play it back to you. After drinking loads of soda, and it's completely gone. Now what about popping noises? Well, if you've listened to anything that Cliff said, you should have a pop filter for your microphone. But occasionally, we get those pops that we simply cannot eliminate. Have a listen to this. Pop. That's an awful pop, isn't it? Popping is where the wind passes through your mouth, hits the microphone, attenuates, and you get loads of bass suddenly distorting. And as you can see here on the waveform, it's, uh, it's clipped. It's over 0 dB. So that is not good news at all. What I'm going to do is simply select from here to here and completely eliminate that bass distortion. Try not to get rid of too much of the noise, just what you need to. And again, I'm going to head over here, I'm going to zoom in, and I'm going to get rid of that bassy noise again on the P at the end of pop. Now let's play it back, and I should have done enough to be able to at least reduce the popping sound on that. Pop. And let's hear the before. Pop. And after. Pop. Finally, in session two, I'm going to show you how to insert and delete silences. Have a listen to this. Sometimes when making a podcast, there are awkward silences that I wish I could edit out quickly. Now, if you take a lot of pauses in your podcast and you want to reduce down the size but still sound natural, there is a way to do it in Adobe Audition. Go into the Diagnostics tab over here. If you can't see it, go into Window and make sure you hit Diagnostics there. Now, there are multiple effects in your Diagnostics tab, but uh, for this one you want to go for Delete Silence. And for Presets, I like to go for Trim Long Silent Pauses. Now, go into your settings and select all of the audio here, and then click Find Levels. This is going to find the levels of your audio, and then fix it by Shortening Silence is what you want. Now you type in the amount of silence that works for you here, but I usually find 150 milliseconds is enough to have a natural gap in between what you're saying. Now to get the process to run, you click Scan, and when it's done that, click off Settings, and you'll see the sections where you took those long pauses. And if you want to fix it, just hit Delete All, and play back, and you've got rid of all that silence. Sometimes when making a podcast, there are awkward silences that I wish I could edit out quickly. And the final part to session two, how to insert a silence. Say you want to insert some silence somewhere in your podcast or in your audio file so that you know. And finally, in session two, I'm going to show you how to insert silence. This is good if you want to have a bit of headroom to work with in your audio to insert new audio or to remember a place that you need to edit. Just click the place you want to insert the silence and then go to the edit menu and then insert silence and type in the amount of time you want. So how about five seconds? Once you've done that, click OK. Boom, there's a five second silence in your audio. That concludes session two, how to edit and improve your podcast. Coming up next, I'm going to talk about how to make your podcast sound better using EQ, compression, normalization, and other voice settings.